I think women in Bridgerton smell like this when they are like walking through these beautiful English gardens and there's like rose bushes everywhere. Oh wow, <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> I'm getting euphoric. Oh my god, it just, it, oh, it just smells like vacation to me, honestly. It well, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm extremely happy that you found your way back today for another video of mine. Today I have another perfume video for you. So, I'm a perfume enthusiast and if you are too, I would be very happy if you joined the club and hit the subscribe button and also if you like this video, I would be very happy to get a thumbs up from you. Okay, before I jump in, I know everybody is probably <laughs> excited to hear about the summer perfumes, but uh, before I jump in, I wanted to ask you where you live and to write that in the comments because I saw in my analytics that a lot of you are actually from the US and I am extremely curious and I would just love to know where exactly you're located and yeah I would just like to know where my videos are being watched basically so I would be very happy if you could help me out with that one. Alright without further ado let's jump straight into the video. Today we are talking about the best summer perfumes that I love to wear in summer. Of course we are not wearing the same perfumes in the summer like we are in the fall or in the winter. Maybe if we have a very universal perfume then we could do that. What is a perfect summer scent? For me personally it has to be fresh. Like you can... <laughs> Maybe let's use food as an example. In summer you're much more likely to want to eat, for example, a lemon tart, so something more with like like a bit more sour, a bit more fresh, instead of like a very heavy chocolate cake, whereas in winter you're much more likely to go for the chocolate cake. And I would say it's very similar with perfume actually. So in winter I will go for very sweet scents, powdery scents, musky scents, Whereas in summer, I'm very attracted to fresh scents, to scents that give me a feeling of, you know, like a light, light summer breeze where you can smell flowers or whatever. So that's exactly what we're going for today. Yeah, I'll show you the scents that I have worn during the summer in the last couple of years actually. So not all of these perfumes are new in my collection, so you can be sure that they are good. Okay, let's jump in with the first perfume and if you have watched my other two perfume videos that I have uploaded recently, you know it already. <laughs> and it is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Intense Eau de Parfum. You probably know the Chanel Eau de Parfum without the Intense and let me tell you, the Coco Mademoiselle without Intense, like the normal version, is also very beautiful, but I've always felt like it was a very, like a good perfume basically. And as I grew older and was in my mid 20s, I just didn't want to wear that kind of perfume anymore. And then I came across the intense version, and oh boy, I was in love the first time I smelled it. Oh my god, and it's such a summer spring scent for me personally. Like, uh, I'm looking at those flowers and <laughs> it kind of smells like that, honestly, because it has rose in the notes, which is just amazing. Maybe let me give you the top notes. It smells really fresh and that is because in the top note we have Sicilian orange, we have Calabrian bergamot and we have lemon. So what I just said with <laughs> basically the lemon tart, um, yeah, makes absolute sense. Then in the hard note we have rose, like the roses that I have here next to me, and fruity jasmine. Then in the base note we have patchouli, we have vanilla, we have tonka bean, we have white musk and the barium raisin. Not raisin, <laughs> sorry, reason. <laughs> Would be funny if it smelled like raisin. Um, Oh my god, this is like, I am so in love with this scent and this is my second bottle and oh boy, it's just, 
it's just divine. It smells like a flower field with with something mysterious about it. It just has a kind of depth in it, probably because there is some patchouli, there is some vanilla, there is some tonka bean, but those are the base notes and like what you smell first is basically the freshness, but you have to keep smelling it because it's not just fresh, you know? I have also just fresh perfumes today, but this is like it's still a summer scent because it's not too heavy, it's not like a headache perfume I call them. It's still very light, but at the same time interesting. So that's probably why it's the most interesting perfume for me personally, because it just hits you with this wave of interesting um, notes, basically. Okay, so the next one is not any less amazing. And it's the Nomad Parfum, the just regular one from Chloe. And as you can tell, it is like almost empty, which is because I have bought this two summers ago, like 2021, and I have already used half of this <laughs> probably on my vacation. I was in Croatia and I bought this perfume for that purpose and I got so many compliments. And I still do because this perfume is, oh my god, it's just, it, ah, it just smells like vacation to me, honestly. It, oh my god, I love it. It's just the best perfume ever for summer next to this one, of course. Like, those two are probably my all-time favorites for summer, which is why I put them in the beginning of the video. Ah, oh, it's just amazing. It smells fresh and it just smells like... Being in a Mediterranean country by the sea and there's a lot of different flowers and you're walking in the evening and you can smell of the different scents. That's what it reminds me of. It's just amazing. Let me give you the notes. So in the top notes we have Mirabelle, we have Bergamot, again we have Lemon and again we have Orange. So it's very, you know, citrusy and fresh for the summer. Then in the heart note, we have freesia, we have a peach, we have jasmine, and again, rose. So, there's also a lot of flowers in here and a little bit of fruit with the peach in the heart notes. And it's just, oh my god, it's such a great composition. I could bathe in this, honestly. I also had the body lotion and it was amazing. Okay. I'm, I'm losing track. <laughs> Let's get into the base notes. So in the base notes we have oak moss, we have patchouli, we have amberwood, we have white musk and we have sandalwood. So I think these two are similar in like the way they have been put together kind of because they both have like citrus things in the hard notes and then flowers in the, um, uh, sorry, they have citrus in the uh, top notes, they have some flowers in the hard notes, and then in the base note they have also like patchouli, for example, and white musk, which is why it makes them kind of similar, but let me tell you, don't be deceived, they smell very different, but both just smell so great. So you cannot go wrong with those. <laughs> One um, friend of mine who also watched my videos bought this actually because she also liked it very much so there's already two people and my mother also bought it once she smelled it on me so you cannot go wrong with that one either all right let's continue with a perfume brand that i have recently discovered for myself and it is joe malone london and i have the fig and lotus flower cologne so if you just hear the, the name of the perfume, <laughs> Fig and Lotus Flower, it is already obvious why I think that this is a summer perfume, because obviously figs don't, like fig trees don't have figs on them, if it's not summer, <laughs> at least not in Europe. Oh wow, <laughs> it smells so good. I'm getting euphoric. This is like, this is like a drug, honestly, like perfume is a drug, I cannot... Oh, it smells so good and you know I don't have to really like tell you what it smells like because it smells like figs and lotus flowers but it smells a bit milky you know it's very fresh yes it smells like flowers and fruit but it also smells a little bit 
I don't know how to say it, powdery, milky, a bit like a, a pastry with thick in it, but still very fresh and not too heavy. So I love that. It's also a bit sweet, but it also has like a kind of a bitterness to it. But in a good way, you know? It's not just sweet, which makes it just interesting and like very characteristic. Okay, so in the top note we have Milky Fig. Then in the heart note we have um, Lotus Flower. And in the base note we have Vetiva. So that's it. There's not more to this perfumes in terms of notes, but don't be deceived. This still is a fantastic perfume. In general, I can just recommend you Jo Malone scents for the summer um, tremendously. There's also one from Jo Malone that smells like rose. And wow, it's just such a power bomb of a scent. I just haven't bought it yet. But I just smelled it and wow. So if you don't like Fig and Lotus Flower, maybe check out the rose version of Jo Malone. It's also amazing. Okay, next one <laughs> is one with a very extravagant <laughs> bottle, flacon. And it's from Juicy Couture. And it's the Viva La Juicy in the rose version. <laughs> Again, it just smells fresh and it smells like roses. Honestly, I think this smells kind of like, again, lemon and rose. <laughs> Can you see the pattern here? Can you spot it? Because I can. Ah, it smells amazing. Okay. In the top notes, we have a pear, we have tangerine orange and we have jasmine. Then in the heart note, <laughs> I knew it, we have rose, we have peony and we have arabic jasmine. And then in the base note, we have ambroxane, iris and benzoin resin. It's so good, honestly. It just smells very fresh. It smells like a botanical garden. It kind of reminds me of, I think, women in Bridgerton smell like this when they are like walking through these beautiful English gardens and there's like rose bushes everywhere. Okay. Next one up is again a very flesh, fresh, <laughs> fresh and flowery perfume and it is Sunflowers Morning Gardens by Elizabeth Arden. The bottle is not the prettiest but don't be deceived, the smell makes up for it. It smells so good. You know what, this is a very subtle scent that I personally think women of every age can wear anywhere they go basically. This is just an all-rounder scent for me personally. And to prove it, I am using this and I have almost used it up. My mother uses this and my grandmother uses this, so <laughs> we all love it. And it's just very universal summer perfume. We have in the top notes grapefruit, bergamot, red currant, neroli and pink pepper. In the heart note we have sunflower, peony, rose oil, again the rose, uh, honeysuckle. And in the base note we have musk, vitiva and cedar. You know what, it does have a bit more of a mature smell. I don't think if I was like under 22, 23, I don't think this would be for me. But anything after that, mature, you know what I mean. Like this is not a teenager perfume, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> but it smells amazing. And the next one is the Eau Fraiche Chevrevis by Yves Rocher. And I know this from the top of my head, this has just one note, like there's not more, there's just honeysuckle. I checked on the Yves Rocher website and that's the only note that this has. And it just smells so good. If you know how honeysuckle smells, then I don't have to describe this perfume any further to you because then you already know how this smells. Amazing. I just love it. It's just... A smell like if you are going to the lake or if you're lying on the beach like this is the perfect perfume 
because I would also be careful in summer with very sweet scents because on a couple of occasions I had the problem that like flies or bees were attracted to the scent and they would just fly after me and that's not something you want but I feel like with this one this shouldn't happen because it's very fresh, you know, it also, okay, this, this might sound negative, but it almost reminds me of those sprays that you use to fight off mosquitoes or like other insects, but it doesn't smell exactly like that, it doesn't smell chemical like that, it just has like the freshness of it, but it does smell a lot better, don't get me wrong, but it's just um, a very fresh scent that you can also basically wear everywhere in the summer. And for the last scent today we have the Ikla number 938 and the Zara Red Temptation. You might be thinking to yourself, why are you presenting two perfumes at once? There's a very good reason for that, because they smell <laughs> exactly the same and they smell like the Baccarat Rouge honestly they are both dupes because as we all know like if you have been in the perfume world for a bit you know how expensive that is and I feel like every brand that makes perfumes kind of jumped on the wagon and tried to replicate it and they are doing a very good job to be honest and so, you know, they do not smell exactly the same, but almost exactly the same, basically. And I feel like the Red Temptation from Zara smells just a tiny bit more fresh than the Eclat version. But still, like, when I first smelled the Zara Temptation, I was immediately like to my mother, this smells like Baccarat Rouge. And she was like... Yes, it's a dupe actually, and I was like, that is so cool. <laughs> so I immediately could tell. So I think if someone smells you, for, for example, in the street, in the office or wherever, and they don't see the bottle, I don't think that they could actually tell, except if they are like the biggest expert, but let's be honest, how many people are? <laughs> so yeah, I can really recommend those because I feel like they are not sweet scents, neither of those which makes them good for the summer in my opinion because they are more like a bit bitter, a bit like fresh but not sweet at all so I feel like they are very easy to digest in the summer and I love that this is a roll-on perfume because I feel like when you roll it onto your skin you can very well decide how much you want to put on, where it's supposed to go and I also feel like when you put it like for example in here or on your neck then the scent can really develop well in those warm places and I feel like you can smell it for much longer than actually. I once put this on my wrist and I could even smell it after I showered <laughs> and yes I shower thoroughly don't worry. So um, yeah I can really recommend the Red Temptation from Zara. It's extremely long lasting and it's a very fair price point. I mean, this is a mini version, but if you get the bigger one um, with the spray bottle, I think you're at 22 euros or something. I don't know what that's like, for example, in um, dollar, but it, it's probably the same, honestly. And yeah, just amazing perfumes also in the summer. In my last video, which I will link in the end of this video, I have also done a video on perfumes that draw people in, so very sexy, sensual perfumes, and I will, as I just said, link that in the end of this video, so if you're interested, you can watch that as well. And there I had the Baccarat Rouge tube in as well, and I also talk a little bit about more what it smells like in that sense. So today is about freshness and everything, but if you're interested, um, feel free. I should probably also give you the notes, shouldn't I? So I don't know for the Zara Red Temptation one, but it's very similar, so it almost smells the same. So I will just give you the notes for the Eclat one. And it's actually 
in the top notes amber, cedar and saffron. In the heart note again cedar and fir balm. And in the base note we have amber and ambroxane. <laughs> that would be actually it for today's video. I'm very happy that I was able to share my favorite summer scents. I have really thought about this like the couple last couple of days to really determine which perfumes I actually wear in the summer. I'm really happy if you found some inspiration from that and if you have any questions or inspirations on future videos also feel free to leave a comment down below. It would help me tremendously if you gave me a thumbs up and yeah, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this and I hope I see you in the next video as well. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!